Okay, now here is another attempt. I had to switch to my phone to take the video because, oh, sugar, I don't want to do that. I think I just screwed everything up. I'm trying to transfer files, Wi-Fi, direct sharing. I've never done it, so that's, <sighs> see if I can just stop it. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I want to turn those off. <clears throat> That's not what I want to do. Not connecting. Jesus. Cancel. That's just starting to tick me off. Hope you can hear me at least anyway then. <clears throat> I don't have the microphone on my headphones now. I'm just using the microphone off the phone. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Ho 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 and a merry old soul. It's 11.26. 34 minutes until time for ho ho. Ooh, I gotta get a stand or something to improve this little area so I don't have to lean out of frame every time I want to load my ball. Hmm. Get this nice pre shredded weed at Cannabis MD. I prefer the shred brand, but uh, this here stuff's not too bad. It's fairly inexpensive. Give it a little, I don't know if I should be doing that or not. Uh, <clears throat> Figur, F-I-G-R, number 10, Artisan. It's not a real strong THC um, content, but 25 bucks for 7 grams of pre-busted up weed. Almost can't go wrong with that. 13.6%. Uh, not bad. Most stuff you got to get anyway is only around 20%, so it's not too bad. So, it's good hydro. It's grown. You know, they have their stuff. It's not like somebody you don't know down the road. <clears throat> they got their stuff down. So it's, it's good weed. Could always be better, but. So yeah, I gotta clean my water. Doesn't look too dirty here, but it does there. Grease. <sighs> I don't know, is that transfer still going? Uh, it's not even doing anything, so I'll probably have to do that when I go <coughs> into the house for more. <coughs> Better Wi-Fi. <coughs> Out here in the, <coughs> in the shed and <coughs> next door in the garage. The Wi-Fi from the house doesn't reach very well, so got the uh, Wi-Fi amplifier extender, extender alligator, more of an extender. Uh, so we have that out here, but still it doesn't work that well. It does to a point you get the wall, you get the internet, but it's not strong. <coughs> Uh, built my, a little built myself maybe so it's not too much dead air uh, sports fan my teams are uh, Canadians Montreal Canadians the Toronto Blue Jays and the Toronto Raptors don't have a football fan or a football team I'm a football fan but I don't I started watching it late I guess and never really claimed a team here in Canada we don't have any of our own teams so I don't uh, can't claim a home team that way so anyone else I just kind of watch whoever's doing good and cheer them on and enjoy good football doesn't really matter to me who wins and loses just you know some good players and whatnot but <clears throat> my favorite player to watch with Brett Favre <clears throat> A man who threw more touchdowns than anyone, than anyone else in NFL history, but also threw more picks than anyone else in NFL history. The way it goes, you throw those big bombs, and <clears throat> you're gonna either hit or miss. Uh, that's kind of the way it goes. Same with the the uh, winningest pitchers are usually the losingest pitchers. Um, the 
pitchers with the most strikeouts are usually the pitchers who also have the most walks. Batters, the most home run lead, I think, pretty sure Barry Bonds. Not 100% sure, so I'm going to check that for me. Uh, home run king also leads in home or strikeouts. Uh, I kind of figured this out when the Toronto Raptors a long time ago, back in the day, got the Lenny Wilkins as a coach, and they uh, <clears throat> build them as the all-time, or he became the all-time winningest coach as the coach of the Toronto Raptors. But what also happened was he also became the all-time losingest coach because they were about a 500 team for every game they won. They lost a game, and that's when I realized, ah, if you're going to be in it long enough to get that many wins, you're also going to get that many losses as well, unless you're one of those rare coaches who for the most part wins more than they loses unfortunately Lenny was on a lot of bad teams coaching too <clears throat> can't all be Greg Popovich um, speaking of that it was really nice to see the Toronto Raptors on the after 24 years I think it was just this year defending champions was their or this past year, they're now starting a new season real quickly. They won the championship in 2019 anyway. And then in the 2019-2020 COVID interrupted season, they didn't do so well. And now they lost their first game to the Pelicans in Zion. An opening for their home opener for the 2020-2021 season, yeah. We're just going to change over to a new year. So it's timelines all messed up. It's hard to tell when one season's starting and the next is beginning. It's just so nuts. Hopefully it'll all straighten itself out here after the season and everything. We'll get regular again and fans in the stands. Although I did see fans in the stands. No. <coughs> <coughs> they were playing in uh, Tampa is where the Raptors are playing. And then... Florida, they had different laws, and there was, or rules, I guess I wouldn't call them laws, different regulations, what you can do during the COVID, and you're allowed to have some fans that didn't look like many, you know, look like everyone's social distancing, a couple small groups, a couple people, and everyone else, like, they were just, look, they didn't look back, that's for sure, uh, and I'm sure there was a, Said it was nice for those Floridians from Canada to be able to go to see the Raptors, who they never get to unless they happen to go down to Orlando. But now, for the season, at least the home games, they'll get to say, "Hey, you know, let's go watch the Raptors play." Hopefully, they'll they'll have a decent season, make the playoffs, and make some noise. This is what I like, but I can't sit like that. I need to sit back. Okay. See if I can pull this a little forward here. Let me get this figured out here sometime. There we go. That's not so bad. Maybe I'll take this inside and do a little recording while I play some games. Do a little uh, game stream while I'm making a podcast. Yeah. PS4 is what I'm on. I haven't got a PS5 yet. I've been... Uh, NBA 2K20. I haven't got 21 yet. Uh, been hooked on that. Trying to play a couple of different guys. Went through one season with one guy and just got another. It takes a long time to go through four different seasons. So I gotta pick one guy to go through and finish him. I got, like I said, one guy who finished a season. And he just started the second season, but I just started another guy and started another guy and started another guy. So I got to pick one and, and go with him. But. With that, I want to get that magical mix of uh, all around player who's got size to be able to block, dunk rebound but then also able to hit three pointers and be agility enough to run the floor it's hard to be able to build that character you know not quite Giannis type I mean he's a little he's taller I mean I don't want guys who's that tall you lose a bunch of stats and that you can't quite build Giannis <coughs> but uh, 
I want to get, you know, one of those good inside, not a big man who can run and athletic um, and hit the three-pointer with consistency. And, you know, I've got a couple littler guys who can shoot and stuff, but you can't get that real mix. I mean, if he can shoot it, he can't, he's not getting the rebounds. And if he's getting the rebounds and all that, he can't shoot so well, but he can dunk and can't if he can block he can't steal he's got to find that mix but <clears throat> it'll come when I find the perfect character but by then I'll need maybe a 2k22 uh, yeah these came out 2k21 but they're already on the next season no we've come through they're gonna have to come through with another game pretty quick though well, it's a whole regular season, and then this should be a regular season. Oh, it should be on schedule. There was just that gap in the ending when they won the championship and then started this next season. Yeah. yeah. Everything for the video game should be pretty well the same. But, yeah, I think that's all rambling now. I'm just going to go in the house, try to edit all these videos and clips together and put up a podcast and see how it goes you know have a good night check out the rambling stoner on instagram and send uh, any emails with comments and anything else to the rambling stoner 420 at gmail.com night